Hello and welcome to Chilly V Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Control as part of our Sunday Funday playlist. And last time we came here to the Foundation as the board reported that there is an issue down here. So, let's get into it. Yes, we uh, got this far down and it's very... Um, Gah. Spooky. Very spooky. Now, I think we have to go across that ravine there, but we'll just have a little peep. You've got all these crystals that grow. Can we... Can we maybe... Smash them? No, can't smash them. Meh. Never mind. All right, let's... Let's let's fly over, if we can. Whee! Oof. Yeah, something's very strange here. It's like... It reminds me of... Well, it doesn't remind me, because I've never been, but... It's what I imagined Mars would maybe be like. All this red sand everywhere. What's this? Some kind of... Place with floating rocks? Okay. Um, can't get this out of here. There must be a... A way, maybe? What's this? Cave paintings. Ooh. On art and time. At first I thought the cave paintings in the Foundation chronicled ancient humans' encounters with natural occurrences like weather, but it soon became clear they depicted events far outside the average human experience. Also, it seems I was wrong to assume the images are ancient. Radiocarbon dating suggests something impossible, that I've been down here longer than the paintings. That's absurd, though. The style and the medium clearly indicate a Paleolithic origin. I was ready to conclude that an ancient community of humans lived in or around the oldest house. Now, with this information, I don't know what to think. Is one of our agents drawing these? Or is there someone down here with us? This place has a habit of skewing my results, so perhaps the data is corrupted, or perhaps some paintings were created at different times. The art does seem to chronicle not only the past but also the present, and possibly even the future. I see in them echoes of the board, some linear architecture, even what could be interpreted as a director. Are the paintings telling a story that's still being written? If so, who is writing it? Hmm. Very curious. So things, paintings are just appearing and stuff? That seems a little bit weird, doesn't it? I don't know about this place, man. It's just like, uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem real. All right, who are you? What are you? Wow, they can dodge. All right, you can dodge. Okay, you can't dodge that well. Okay. Pickaxes now. What the hell are these guys? They're almost like, like, the normal hiss entities, but like they've gone back to caveman days where they're using like weapons and stuff. I don't know. This is weird. What the hell is going on here? Any more notes? Anything to tell us anything? I don't know. Mm. Something's off. Something's way off. Oh, hello. What's this? Relocation order. Okay. Federal Bureau of Control. Tom! You missed the good news. I'm sure the official memo will go out soon, but Northmore called on all hands at the crossroads to announce we're finally moving out of this hellhole and up to the house proper. Bureau Brass apparently solved the moving walls problem, or at least figured out a way to pinpoint where and when they will happen. All I know is going up means goodbye darkness, goodbye weird lunches with that ex-Nazi scientist, and goodbye peeing into the pit. I know that was you, Barry. Northmore's ordering the Foundation sealed as soon as we can haul our stuff out and somehow convince Ash to come with us. He's the only one kicking up a fuss. This is long overdue. We've lost 11 men and damn near $10,000 in supplies moving between the entrance and the foundation. And for what? Research? Ash is batty if he thinks we want to stay here and sift through more sand for him. It's just rusted iron flakes anyway. Did you know that? We're breathing in that shiz. 
Hmm. So, it's iron. It's not sand. It's iron flakes? Okay, yeah, this is probably pretty dangerous then because, you know, you don't want to be breathing in... Well, I mean, you don't want to be breathing in anything, let's be real, but... You don't want to be breathing in, you know, iron. Uh, nah, it's only a three. Only a level three upgrade that. Okay, whoa, they look like eyes. I don't like that. Hello? Crossroads. Ugh. Oh, okay, very clever. Meant to look like eyes, I imagine. So this is the crossroads? What's the crossroads? Okay, what, what, what is this? What's going on? Are these, like, air pockets or something? Beware of toxic geysers. Okay. Should we... Hmm, could we smash that? No. Alright, so we need to... We need to kind of... Float our way around here. Oh. Oh my god. They look like buttholes. Good God! Ugh! Stinky! If we throw something in them, just go poof! Shut up! Anything up here? Ugh! Stinky! Alright, so we've got to watch out for those things. Okay. Uh, this place is weird. It moves weird. It's like there's something, I don't know, it's like it's living. It's a living place. Very odd. Okay, what's this? Foundation accident. Oh dear. Okay. Federal Bureau of Control. Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. You remember that Robert Ricardo fella who we brought in as a special consultant to map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the centre. Kind of looks like the one at the crossroads, but smaller. We had a bureau member shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a number on our guest. The docks are taking a look, but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventure's exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit the guy's exposure to the non-ordinary. Drugging him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoot, by the way. But we really need to reevaluate our policies on external contractors. Honestly, we'd be better off forming a special division trained in repelling and orienteering than subjecting more outsiders to the shiz we deal with. They almost always end up dead or loony. Marcus. Well, okay. That's, that's, that's not encouraging whatsoever. What's this? Is there something here? Can we, can we get this? We can. Okay. Can we not go through there? Smash it? Can we break it? No. In a word, no. Alright. Okay. This this seems Oh there it is. This is this is concerning. Not gonna lie. Very concerning. The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. Ah this happens in the upper floors. It'll destroy the Bureau. Okay, so we need to stop this from happening. Who are you over there? Alright, so let's 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 get over then. I guess we know what we need to do here. Have a rock. Have another rock. Okay. Health is full again. Mods, mods that we can't pick up. This is such a weird, a weird place. Oh my god! I mean, what's up there? Do you suppose we could go up there, or is that where we came from? I think that's where we came from. Or did we come from there? No, we came from there, didn't we? So can we can we go up there? I suppose should we try? No, we don't have the height capability, unfortunately. Well, never mind. Never mind. Ooh, it's very spooky. Oh! Marshall? What the hell? Marshall! You're alive! I don't think that's Marshall. Wait! 
It's Jesse! The director! I don't think that's Marshall. I don't think it's her. Just gonna say that. Are we missing anything here? I just wanna make sure that we've got all the all the documents and things. I'm uh you know me, I'm a law collector in these sorts of things. Cause the law the documents and things make Whoa. This place is huge. Crossroads. Marshall? Can you hear me? Damn. She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see yeah. what's going on with that pillar first. All right. I don't... Investigate the nail. There's a nail now. Should we go maybe... This is... This is just... It's incredible, but my God. What the hell? What's this? Oh, we can't go through there. Canyon Rim. Okay, can't do that. So what's in here? Anything? Okay. Maybe a... Ah. Well, never mind. Okay, so Polaris is... Oh, it's a point we can cleanse? Okay. Let's just, just, just... Ah. It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting. But we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable. Which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery. A pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. <gasps> this pistol? Seems like something out of a storybook. That we hold? The heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me to spout some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now, calling Father and all other previous directors shams, frauds, and worse. Wow. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men, and now it's handing out presents? Mm. Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. Yeah. Ooh, so this pistol that I'm currently holding was, was here? Originally? Okay, well let's let's cleanse this control point for now. Okay. All right. Something's going to kick off, isn't it? You can just feel it. Feel it in the in the air. All right, what's this? Ley lines. Aha, yes, ley lines. I know about ley lines. On ley lines and their energies. For all my research into the oldest house ley lines, I still don't understand why they converge here, at the base of this pillar. I suppose the simplest reason is that they have to converge somewhere. Occam's razor and all that. But that seems wrong. The esoteric world abhors coincidence. So what is the true relationship between this pillar and the ley lines? Does it act as a magnet, attracting them? North Pole? Or is the pillar a product of their focused energies? A sprout nourished by the constant flow of the oldest house's power. Perhaps classifying that power would provide some insight. However, we currently have no means of measuring or quantifying it. Given time, it may become possible to collect and even harness this energy. On that note, Northmore is bringing in the much lauded Dr. Gustav Wagner from headquarters in DC to aid my research. I suppose this is his way of saying he doesn't trust me to work unsupervised. Let's just hope Dr. Wagner is as smart as his dearly departed Führer once believed him to be. Oh, so he used to work for, um... I'm not going to say his name, because, well, you know, he wasn't the... He, he was a horrible individual. What's this one? Foundation Pillar. Here we go. Okay, Foundation Pillar. On the nature of the pillar... The pillar found in the crossroads is best described as an onyx spike that protrudes from the cave floor like an imposing stalagmite. 
Despite its aggressive silhouette, the structure has an undeniable allure. Freud would have certainly said something about the pillar's overly erect nature, but I'm more drawn to Whitmore's essay on dynamic layers, structures within structures, the fractal mirror in every being. Given its significant location, I believe the pillar is either the very heart of the oldest house or an intrusion within that heart. Or perhaps it's the husk of a seed from which the oldest house sprouted. Trottier wrote that great architecture isn't built, it grows. But then why does the pillar look so different from the rest of this place's concrete walls and rocky caverns? It's easy to see it as an anomaly, a buried artefact, a foreign body, a demonic phallus. I wonder if this pillar is any more welcome here than we are. Mm. Certainly is a weird looking thing, isn't it? Like, it reminds me of the... of the, um, the astral plane. Before we do any cleansing, let's just, just, just... Whoa. Okay. This, this is kind of... Ooh, that's a long way down. Holy guacamole. Look at this. What's all these pillars? It's like a... Ooh, I don't know. It reminds me of like a car park. But like a really spooky... You know, like liminal space type deal. There's a light up there. What's the light, I wonder? Well, let's... um Nail door. Monolith is hurt. Touch. Revere it to enter. What? We're going to go somewhere? Where are we going? Okay, let's... Let's... Okay. Oh! Repair the nail, link to prevent astral consumption slash collision. This is the director's duty slash plot. Authorised for a single new tool slash upgrade. Use it to save the foundation, us, the bureau. Okay. Left self or right weapon. Only one is permitted. Which will you choose to become? So I can only choose one? I thought I was done with these tests. So I can be myself, or I can keep my weapon. I think that's what we're going with. I mean, I like my weapon, but I'd rather be myself, I think. I think, I think the idea is they either take away the weapon, or they take away our powers. And I think the powers will just be more more useful. Okay. Or is it going to be you can only upgrade one? Well. I mean, I'd, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Left self will grant shape slash manipulate. Well, what does this do then? Right weapon will grant fracture slash undo. Oh, so you can smash stuff or you can you can create walkways. Oh my god, really? Um That seems like it'd be more useful, but then this will allow us to get to certain places. Oh, this is difficult. I think we'll go with, actually, with this. I know I was going to go with self, but I think we'll go with this. Because I want to be able to, you know... We are adjusting slash upgrading the service weapon slash gift. Okay, so, so... And definitely can't do both. <laughs> you've got to try, you know. You've got to try, folks. Minerals, roots, and barnacles grow across the foundation. Use the new ammo slash ca casing to demolish slash weed whack. First directed to receive slash earn this. You should feel honoured. Handled. I don't want to feel handled. That sounds weird. Okay. Um. There we go. Handled. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't like that. Should we go up? Certain crystal formations regrow after destruction. Does that mean we can use them to climb up things? Let's just test the theory. Just, just out of sheer curiosity, you know. Oh, 
All right. There we go. All right. Well. Oh, why did I do that? Up we go, Jesse. Hmm. Do we maybe need these to to climb? Okay. So. Okay. There we go. Dismantle, loosen the four locks, keys, MacGuffins. What the hell is a MacGuffin? Located in the fringe slash nowhere of the astral plane. Astral bleeding slash collision has caused them to spread. Do this, and the nail will be repaired. Glued. Crisis averted. Great. P.S. Bonus round. Hiss are pre present in the foundation. Trespassing snooping is forbidden. Forbidden by who? Here we go. Alright. Lure enemies onto crystal walkways, then destroy the crystal. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Alright. So I think we need these to get up and about. Um, oh yeah. Alright, Jesse, you can just sit down a minute. Alright. Oh! Oh yeah. Okay. Alright. Jeez Louise. There we go. Come on, you Egypt. Come on. Get on there. Yes. Look at that. Brilliant. And we're all right. We seem to be all right. What's up there? Do we go up there? Or do we go up there? Oh, God, this is exciting. Oh, is that it? Well, all right. Okay. okay, let's review. Ooh. This broken pillar is called the nail. Okay. It was broken by something, mm -hmm. and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation, which will destroy the oldest house, the bureau, and everyone inside. Okay. I need to find four locks, or keys, or whatever, to stop that from happening. Yes. But I'm the director. Mm -hmm. I've handled worse. Okay. This should be simple. Oh, Jesse, those words. Ish. Those words. Are you with me? I'm with you. Polaris is with you. All right, so we need to go to Site Gamma and the Canyon Rim. So oh, that's got me curious. Oh, I see. If we'd have taken the other power, we could have gone across. Right, that's fine. Well, do you know what? Let's, um... Should we head back to Site Gamma first? Sort that out, and then... Although, it is supposed to be through here, isn't it? This other place. So should we try and... Ah! I see. We can just smash them. Smash it! That damn gun. Yep. Fail. Yep. Not sure she's ready. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah. I saved the bureau once, and I'll do it again. Yeah, so... Mind your tongue, lad. All right, we're over. Brilliant. Can we just... No, can't just bust through. There we go. Go around. Damn! Hopefully this was the right choice. I mean, the walkways thing would have been really cool. Maybe we'll get it later on. I don't know. Oh! I'm in the astral plane. Oh, this bleed is just getting worse and worse. <sighs> Complete the ritual in the astral... What ritual? There's a ritual now? Astral collision. Oh, God. Okay. Well. 
Wow, so yeah, all this stuff kind of That's fell through case, here. Man. Looks like the astral bleed goes both ways. Yeah. Okay, so that cube looks like it has to go in there. But what's this? Where everything? Or where everything? Like werewolf? Where? Where? Werewolf? 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 I don't know. Dear science, there's a person in my pet salamander. He has human eyes. Why doesn't anyone else see him? I think it's like werewolves, but with every animal. Where dogs, where cats, where otters, where butterflies, where everything. There are people inside and they can't get out. They're stuck in the animal body. It's not all animals, but it can be any animal. My parents don't believe me. Maybe this has happened before? I thought you would know. Sincerely, John Lemaine. Well, John... That's... that's... It's a fair theory, I suppose. Um, yeah. What's this? Ah. So... Do we just... Whoa! That into there. Okay. And up, up. Kiss in the astral plane. That's it. <sighs> okay. Jeez Louise. So we got the gold block here. That's good, 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 good. So what's, 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 what's around here? Ooh. Health recovery. I think our health recovery is pretty bloody awesome, to be honest. We don't ever really seem to lose that much, and when we do, it just regrows dead quick. Alright, so, so... If we just, let's just put this block here, out of harm's way. And then... this up. Brilliant. Alright, so that's that one. Oh, they're both down. Okay. So... Alright, let's go up. Another gold block here. Another gold block here. Wow. Bloody hell. Loads of them. Right, yes, thank you. Shifting fragment. And what's this? Manakai Nico statue. If I am pronouncing that wrong, I'm so sorry. AI 48 PE. Containment procedure, non known. Description slash altered effect. A ceramic beckoning cat figure, common look object found in Japanese storefronts. The following is a list of the items observed altered effects. Non corporeality. Affinity for specific human behaviour and minor physical movement, waving its arm. Multiple simultaneous incarnations of this item have been observed. Whether these are independent altered items acting uniformly or replicated instances of AI-48 is unknown. Background. How the items originally arrived in the oldest house is unknown. It was first discovered sitting in the director's chair and was immediately contained in a panopticon cell. The next day an agent noticed two additional figures had appeared. Hours later, all three vanished. The items have been sighted throughout the Bureau, appearing while agents perform redacted tasks. It is theorised that fulfilling certain unknown criteria will encourage the items to appear. Present location is unknown. Ooh. Well, that's rather curious, isn't it? Okay, so we got three gold blocks. That much we do know. So, what's... what's... where do they need to go is the ultimate question now. Ah, well, one needs to go in there. That's easy. Okay. There. So that's where we started. Brilliant. All right. Um. Is there another place for another one? What the hell is that? Is that a toilet? Curiosity. I've I've got to know. You know. And we're in. Aha! Hidden location discovered. And what did we find? Something, something? Can we not use it? No. Guess not. Alright. 
Well, I had to know. Curiosity and all that jazz. All right. So, these gold blocks must go somewhere, mustn't they? Up. Hmm. Nope. Oh, there you go. We did it. Good grief. That took some doing. All right. Up we go. Aha. Here we are. Okay, what's what's this? Ooh. Reminder, the bureau does not have windows. If you notice a window, immediately close your eyes and make your way to the nearest safe room. You are permitted to fashion a blindfold from an article of clothing. Any resulting lapse in dress code will be excused. Thank you for your attention. All right, concerning. But okay, let's yep. Ooh, destroyed all the stones. What does this do for us? Okay, so, okay. Do we need to go over here? Looks like it. Gold block. Ah! So do we need another gold block, I suppose? And there's only one up here. Alright, so maybe we need to get the gold block from down there wherever it is hmm okay well that's one. Oh, do we only get one oh we can only go one way I see okay well that's interesting all right Okay. And now you're dead. I've just realised I could have lured them all onto this thing and had them plop down, but never mind. It is what it is. Alright, so we've got a gold block again. Hmm. Another gold block slot here. Hmm. So, something's leading me to believe that maybe if we do that. Ha! Huh. Seemingly it does nothing. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Wait a minute. Did that get rid of that one in there? No, it didn't. Good. Oh, this doesn't sound good. Oh, okay. Hmm. Guessing there's going to be another uh, bunch of dudes appear. Come on, then. There we go. Took care of that. Come on, dude, get on this. Come on, you Egypt. This way. There we are. Took care of that. Okay. So. I'm hearing. Okay. Let's see, I'm hearing footsteps. Yeah, dum dum. Alright, so. Ah! So that's where the gold slot is. Enjoy. Alright. So over this way. Oh, thought there was something down there. Alright. Hmm. So two crystals. Okay. Right. So there. One. There. Two. Is it stuck? God bless it. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, that one's gone in. This one can't go in because this bloody crystal. Get out of blood away. Woof! Can we have that? Oh no. No. Our weapons mods are full. We need to uh, have a little bit of a clear out again. That's fine. And then up here. Is this another thingy? Yep, another spot that we can... Okay. Alright, so we don't always have to destroy all the crystals. They can, in fact, sometimes be very useful. Possibly? Ah. Oh yeah, these, these are going to have to go. Okay, yeah. Does that just realign everything and bring everything back to normal? I think. I don't know. Maybe. What? Well. All right. Um, I don't think there was anything else up here. Oh, jeez, Louise. Huh. Do we need to go over there? Or over there? Hmm. All right. Bloody hell. Hold on. Why? Aha! One there. One there. This is so weird. Gold block. Where are you to go, gold block? Are you... Hello? Oh. Alright. Hmm. Ah! I see it! I see it. There we are! Is there another? Yes, there is, look. There we go. <sighs> okay. Let's go up. And across. Good grief. And then up again. Okay. I think we're nearing the end of this challenge, folks. Gonna be quite a long video today by the looks of it. Bloody hell. Uh, up we go. Diddly do. I think this may be the last cleansing point. Okay, uh Maybe there's one up there. Good god. This is like the longest astral plane challenge ever. We've been here for ages. Alright, here we go. Ooh, 
Oh, another file. Hello. Green. What? I don't know if you can see this because I don't know if I really hear. I see a pen in my hand. I see myself, but it's all wrong. It's the wrong angle. It's thro it's the wrong me. And it's all green. Look out for the green colour. The colour green. Everything turns green when it's close. Don't let it get close. Don't let it in. But if you do, no matter what, you do not speak to it, please. I need you safe, Peggy. I don't want you to end up here too. I don't know where I've gone. So green is not a good colour at this point. Which, hey, I get it. Not everybody likes the colour green. And definitely not that bloke. Oh, oh, woman. It could be a woman. Um, hmm. Can we maybe... Mm. No. I just don't think we can get up that high. I suppose we could, we could, we could try. Oh, maybe we can. Yeah, we can. We can. That's all right. Just me being very foolish. Oh God, really? Give me this. All right. So, okay. Have we seen all there is to see? Oh no, there's something up here. Look. That's a tape. Why is there a tape on the floor? What? Can we put the tape in? Nope. Like it. Okay. What's 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 this? Oh god, not this thing again. Um, to anybody out there who who has ever tried and there's no judgment here, is that what it's like taking LSD? Because that's why I imagine it'd be like taking LSD. Good lord! All right, Jesse, let's um, let's cleanse this thing and get out if we can. Good God! Really, we're still not finished. Good lord! This is the longest challenge ever! But yeah, that's what I imagine taking LSD is like. You know? Weird. Tripping, tripping absolute, you know. Bits and bobs. Alright. What's, what's... Wait! This door, I recognise the door. All right. Well, that was interesting. Um Okay, so have we cleansed every point now and we can just kind of go leave? I don't I don't know. It certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Okay. Just take a little look up here. Don't think there's anything here. No. All right, so is this the doorway? etching like the one I used to get in here all right Ooh. locks ancient reason abalone abalone is this the lock slash key the board told me about oh okay 
So, is it stuck? Is this the problem? Do we... Oh, okay. Do we need to break these? Yes, we do. All right, well seasoned. Only three keys, tethers remain. Oh, okay. Just doing my job. Can I? Can I? Can I? I can stand on this thing. This is cool. All right. So, oh, it's down there. All right. So is that that one done? Big ball. Look at it. It's like. Whew, I don't know. Weird. First one down. Whew. Director Faden's got this covered. Okay. Well. What's this? Oh, is this how we get out? Maybe. Ooh. Okay, and we're back. Who are you? Are you are you friendly? I think you are friendly, aren't you? Oh yeah, it's all the researchers. Okay. Oh my god, look at all these ability points we've got. Okay. Hmm. Well. Hmm. We'll have a look at that next time, I think. But we are going to leave it there for today. This has been a very long episode. I am hoping you're still with me. Weird, weird, and even more weird. But until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>